morning marathon it's monday february 1st 2021 i'm sam and you're watching dnn please stand for the pledge please be seated Tomorrow is Iguana Day. We will all be watching Marathon Mike to see whether we will have six more weeks of tourist season or if we'll be able to make a left onto US-1 early this spring. Picture Day retakes will be February 17th and 18th. This is for all students, including seniors and staff, who missed the first Picture Day. Seniors, please drop by 7307 by the end of the next week to confirm your senior portrait. If you don't stop by to check it out, you will get the picture that Herf Jones has chosen for you. Seniors, did you know that your senior quotes are past due? There are other important informative things for seniors in the class of 2021 Google Classroom and in your Gmail. Please be sure to check them out today. And while we're talking to you seniors, Go ahead and check out the scholarship opportunities on the CAPS section of the MHS website. Keep checking back as more will be added weekly. And that's all the news we have for you today, Fins. I'm Sam, and you've been watching DNN. During the month of February, DNN will be honoring the important achievement of African Americans to our nation's history. Each day, we will spotlight a different person. There will be authors, athletes, activists, scientists, and entrepreneurs. Some names you will recognize while others will be new to you. The information and images about these Americans come from a book titled The Fierce 44. It is a collection of short biographies meant to inspire the reader and learn more about the contributions black Americans have made in the country. It contains information about the peoples we will feature as well as many more. The Fierce 44 is available to check out from the library. Aretha Franklin is considered one of the greatest musicians in American history. She has won many awards throughout her career, including 18 Grammys, and became the first female performer inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Franklin was also a big supporter of the Civil Rights Movement, and she sang at the memorial service for Martin Luther King Jr., as well as the inauguration for the first black president, Barack Obama. 